we need to write these fractions as percentages. So first, we have one half. Now remember, a percentage is a fraction over a hundred. So we need to find a fraction equivalent to one half, which has a denominator of 100. To find equivalent fractions, we can use multiplication. Two times 50 is 100, and what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and one times 50 is 50. So, because one half is equivalent to 50 hundredths, one half is 50%. Now, we have one quarter. Again, we need to find an equivalent fraction which has a denominator of 100. 4 times 25 is 100, because if you count up in 25s 4 times, you get 25, 50, 75, 100. So, what we do to the denominator, we need to do to the numerator as well, and 1 times 25 is 25. So, that's 25%. And it's really important that we don't write 25 over 100% because the percentage sign already tells us out of 100. Now we have 1 fifth. 5 times 20 is 100 because if we count up in 20s 5 times we get 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. What we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator, 1 times 20 is 20. So, because 1 fifth is equivalent to 20 hundredths, that's the same as 20%. So let's have another look at these fractions. First, we had 1 half, so 1 part out of 2, and we can see that shaded here on our fraction bar. But a percentage is a fraction with a denominator of a hundred. So, if we split our fraction bar into hundredths, you can see that we have fifty hundredths, so that's why one half is fifty percent. Now, if we have a quarter, we have one part out of four. But if we take off the quarters grid and replace it with a hundredths grid, you can see that we now have some half parts shaded which we need to rearrange, and you can see that when we do that, we get 25 hundredths, so that's 25%. And finally, we had one fifth, so one part out of five. A percentage is a fraction over a hundred, and one fifth is equivalent to 20 hundredths, so as a percentage, one fifth is 20%. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.